Yeah, how's it going guys? Ripper here and I'm back with another painting video and this time up it is the Barbarians the Invasion Berserk which is the last of the non-Kickstarter exclusive miniatures well the actual figure miniatures anyway not the other ones but this is the Berserker I've primed it in a standard grey primer that I use now from now on and I'm covering all the flesh at the moment in tanned flesh which looks really orange in this video for some reason but it is definitely not that orange in the, um, in real life and flesh is more sort of a brownie color which is nice because it's not dark brown but it's enough that you can have it on there and then highlight up a lighter color and it looks really nice when it's done this is one of those models as well that highlighting wasn't really necessary so once it was washed it was basically done it's just like the odd touch up here and there As you can see, that's the end of Tanned Flesh. And we move on to Banshee Brown, which is for the fur cape that he's wearing. I was originally going to do this a different color, but the more I look at it, the more I see that it is some sort of fur. So a light color would be nice. Since the majority of this model is going to be brown anyway, as he's wearing a lot of leather. And like, there's not a lot of metal anymore on this model. Like, he's got the metal helmet on, obviously, but actual clothing wise it's mostly leather with studs so there's a stupid amount of brown if i done this brown as well it just wouldn't look right it just wouldn't blend but i think it would blend too much more importantly as if it blended all together it would just look like one big slab of leather stuck on there but then we move on to leather brown which is essentially everything not metal is now covered but anything not metal not painted covered. that's more important It for leather brown. As you can see, I've covered pretty much everything, which is bad, but not uh, not bad. And now we move on to Army Painter's Gun Metal, which is just for the attic parts of the model. But with the leather covering all that, leaves us room to highlight up to make our certain things pop. And then with the wash, it sort of separates everything out and it looks nice. But this is covering the end of the ha um, hammer obviously you have a metal hammer but his metal helmet and then i come along and do all of the studs on essentially majority of his armor but he's got a lot of studded leather armor That's it for all the metallic parts. 
then we come in with monster brown and this is just to sort of separate up some of the leather that's done because that way if it's all the same color it just doesn't look nice but this highlights up like certain parts of it that counteract the wash later on As you can see, I'm just I'm touching off on all the like slow, slightly raised areas of the model. Nothing, I'm not blocking in any color with this. It's just cover any raised area, any edge you've got slightly, just to make it look a bit more like pop, potentially. That's it for all the leather. And that's literally it for the leather now. It's just a wash and that's done. Then we just come back and give the Banshee Brown a second coat. Just put it like it's the right color. As Banshee Brown is a very thin color when it's put on there. So if you give it a couple of layers, it just brings it up to where it needs to be. And as you can probably start to see now, it separates the model quite a bit. Because the front is essentially really dark. Now we're coming into the skin, which is the final highlight for the skin as well, and it is Barbarian Flesh. With Barbarian Flesh, it is just picking up raised areas, picking up anything not shadowy. As the skin, with how it was with the tan flesh, was very much in with the brown. You couldn't really tell them apart at a distance. Now with the Barbarian Flesh coming in, it makes all those muscles pop and all his um, exposed skin actually stand out a bit more. You can clearly see it. And that's it for the skin. Then we move on to skeleton bone, which is the horns. As he's got two horns on his um, helmet. He's also got some weird sort of like bone things on his boots. Oh, it looked like bone things from what I could tell with the model. So I just quickly washed them in, paint them a different colour, essentially. It, it's a nice enough change that it separates all the leather as well. So it made sense. It looks, it looks weird, not gonna lie, but it looks alright. And then we finish up with Army Painter's Fire Lizard, as he's got a beard. And Fire Lizard is a nice colour for a ginger. As it doesn't quite go on um, perfect. So if you leave it thin enough, it still stands through. And then we have the wash. And this is Army Painter's Strong Tone and his entire model. I didn't even change for the skin this time around. I just done everything as Strong Tone. As there's not actually a lot of skin uh, exposed, so changing up the wash would have been fairly pointless. And it would have separated the skin a bit more from the model, which if you're going for that sort of look, I would recommend using a flash wash or something, but I wanted the model to sort of encapsulate itself, um, its own thing. So I figured dark, um, not dark tone, sorry, strong tone would have worked exactly how it should do. And then as you can see now, I'm just, because normally when I, with strong tone, you'd leave it on there and let it for a bit, just quickly brushing off any excess I could find, as I don't want it to pull in certain places. Like around the head and on his chest and things if it pulled there it would have ruined the color but if you brush it off quickly before it dries it actually stays quite nice and then we're up to the final part which is the base and a matte black base as i always do now and not being part of the games like character specific ones it could be all black nice That is the end of the model. There's some of the finished off um, pictures of the model. You can see the wash has drastically changed a lot of the leather around the figure. That actually makes it pop a lot more. That is a blurry photo. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. So cheers for watching. Like, subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll be back soon with another one. See ya.